Got a gold ring and want to know if it's the real deal, without leaving home? Here's a quick checklist you can do in minutes. First, the stamp. Look inside the band for marks like 24K, 18K, 14K, 10K, 9999, 750, 585, 417. No stamp doesn't mean fake, but it's a red flag. Second, the magnet test. Grab a strong fridge magnet. Neodymium magnet. Real gold isn't magnetic. If it jumps to the magnet, it's likely not gold, or it's heavily alloyed. Third, color and wear. Under bright light, check edges and the inside shank. Real gold keeps its color. Plating rubs off, showing silver or copper tones. Fourth, the streak test, gently. Use an unglazed white ceramic tile. Drag the ring lightly. Real gold leaves a gold-colored streak. Fake metals, streak gray or black. Don't press hard, avoid scratches. Fifth, the density check. Gold is heavy, weigh the ring in grams. Fill a measuring cup with water, note the level. Submerge the ring, note the rise in milliliters. Density equals grams divided by milliliters. Around 19.3 is pure gold. 14K lands roughly 12.914. If it's way lower, that's suspicious. Sixth, the vinegar drop. Put a tiny drop of white vinegar on a discreet area. Rinse after 10-15 seconds. Real gold won't change color. Brass or plating may darken. 7th, the ice touch. Gold conducts heat well. Touch an ice cube to the ring. Melting should start quickly compared to a similar size fake. Not definitive, but a clue. Bonus. The sound. Tap the ring gently with another ring. Solid gold has a warm, mellow ping. Cheap alloys sound dull. Stack your results. A legit stamp. No magnet pull, gold streak. Heavy density. You're likely holding real gold. Still unsure, or it's valuable. Get a jeweler to test with XRF, or with professional acids. I keep it simple, protect the piece, and confirm before I celebrate, or sell.